All right, back again. Came out here to find some snow. My normal bash spot, as you see. Got a mattress here as well. Whole uh, bedroom set. Gotta love it. And then looks like they're gonna be putting in a pool because people dropped off the cleaning supplies for the pool already and the cover. So all we gotta do is dig a hole and fill it with water. We got the pool supplies. Pretty soon, we're gonna have a whole house built out here. But uh, let's get to ripping. Um, got the wheel nut put on this one and uh, took it out to this spot because I think it suits this one better. And uh, since it snowed out here last night and all the snow is gone already, I missed the snow, I wanted to come out and bash. There should be less dust. So less dust means uh, better footage. See how this diff really operates in the cold. And uh, I did bring out the V4 Creighton with the better steering servo. So I'm hoping that uh, I can run that as well. These are on 6S, even though this has got an 8S system in it. I'm running it on 6S because it truly feels fast enough on 6S. Diff is still a little tight. It kicks out to the right. But as you see, less dust out here in the sandy, sandy conditions. I always say warm up before you're gonna send your jump. It's funny, every time I'm here, I smell electrical burning. I keep thinking it's my RC, but it's something in the air that smells like electrical burning out here. Whoa, fell into a hole. Everything looks pretty smooth and pretty cool right now. You can really see the berms. Barely made it around on that one. Got caught in the cactuses. Keep running into the trees. All the ants are sleeping today. All the ant holes. There's no ants walking around. looks so smooth in here right now see that was kicking out to the to the right makes it hard to control definitely got to get that fluid change soon oh something broke on it I don't have steering on the left. I only have steering on the right. I didn't even hit anything. I didn't hit anything. Wow. EXB what? So, looks like the link unscrewed from the steering. The link literally unscrewed because I can see the screw inside there. 
every time I take out this EXB, I have an issue. But look at the screw in there. You can see it came unscrewed. There's no Loctite on those threads. So, four and a half minutes in, I already have a broken EXB. And my V4 is still going. This thing is killing me. This EXB. Man, we'll be right back. All right. Well, broke the Creighton. So I had the X-Max ready for yesterday's bash. Never got to run it, so I'm gonna run it today. I do have the DBX LE and I have the V4 Creighton, but I ran the V4 yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna give this a rip because I'm tired of uh, going into the trunk and grabbing a different uh, different uh, Arma um, and watching them break. So we're gonna go out here with the King. We're gonna give it a rip. And as you heard me say, this is not gonna break. We'll see if that stands true, because every time I say it on camera, guess what? It breaks. All right. Let's rip it. This is not my orange one. And this one has been breaking every time I take it out. So maybe I'll be lucky today, and I won't break it. What I do like is the compacted sand. You can rip it out here, and you're not seeing just a dust cloud. And I don't have to worry, my kids are all in the car. They say it's too cold to be out here, which is good. I don't have to worry about ripping into somebody. This one kept breaking gears. So hopefully I don't break some gears today. Already off to a crooked start. Let's see. I think if I was running from this direction. I was gonna try to backflip, but ran out of wheel speed. I think I have some leftover rocks in this thing. Might have been able to do a backflip off that one. in the middle of the cactus tree. Gotta be careful, these things are sharp. But the X-Max doesn't care. Oh, oh, I hit a tree. Got plenty of bite with the Traxxas tires on it. 
I got, uh, I think two new tires on this one. Yeah, the front tires are brand new. The rear tires are uh, old. <laughs> Gotta use a little skill. Can't just beat it up. Let's see. Let's see if I can go this way. My daughter's sneaking up on me. Oh, that was hard on that right, on that left front. I'm hoping RC Guy Garage will take out trash bag. So I figure if I just keep running an X Max, eventually he'll uh, he'll run his. Oh, that was a bad crash, hitting the brakes when I'm not supposed to. I keep hitting the brakes at the top of that tree. In this cold weather, I'm surprised it hasn't broke a control arm. 
and now not enough brake. It's got, the, got it little squeaks and corks, but I don't care. It squeaks, but it keeps going. Bearings are probably a little rusted. But I don't care. As long as it keeps running. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you were Chloe. <laughs> I was like, why is Chloe standing up there? You want to try it? Why no? Chloe didn't like the X Max. I think the X Max is fun. That's the nice thing about the X Max with the indestructible body. You don't have to worry about it. What's that? I mean, parts break. They're gonna break on me just like they're gonna break on you. Just don't hit the brakes in the air. I always tap the brakes at the end to bring it straight. I feel rain. I gotta finish this bash before it starts pouring. I did bring my rain gear. Ooh, that was hard on that left front again. That left front control arm's taking some abuse. So this is a 5018 gearing. I num normally run a 46 spur, but I ran out of them, so I got a 50 in this one. And it's just a little underpowered for uh, backflips. Still a wheelie, just a little underpowered for backflips. And those hot racing wheel nuts never come loose. Sand is perfect right now with these X Max tires. Huh? Yep. It's just kind of uh, hooking and running. Those back tires look like they're starting to starting to get on balance. Hopefully they're not coming unglued like uh, the front ones did. All that wheel speed in the air because those tires are about two years old. Oh, roll over.
Anybody knows that from Eddie Murphy. Oh, that's it, low voltage cut. Let's get it back so I don't have to carry it. And it's sprinkling out here. So let me clean off this lens. Hopefully you guys aren't all wet. Oh, low voltage cut. Let's power this thing off. Power it back on. Let's see if we can walk it back. We're literally out of voltage with these batteries. So if you tap the trigger too hard, it'll, it'll cut. And I'm tired of carrying RCs back. So guess what guys? I said that this one always breaks every time I bring it out and guess what? It didn't break. Whatever I say, it's gonna do the opposite. So, I did show it some love. It got some new gears. It got some new front tires. Huh? Lens is wet. Lens is all spotted again. So there we go. You guys got a nice bash with the with the bash all, which is the X Max. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. It's raining out here. We're gonna end this day. We will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. This thing is muddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it didn't break. Doing pretty good. Yeah, I kept saying every time it does, I do say something, it does the opposite. Yep, it does. Every time. Like when you say it's not gonna break, it breaks. When you don't say it's gonna break, it's not gonna break. Exactly. Well, we got some batteries charged up for tomorrow. It's too cold out here, so we're gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching.